This Outrageous Art lesson is called All Around the World Portraits. Now, to do this project, we're actually going to be making a collage. And since this is a portrait, a self-portrait, you're going to be learning how to draw a picture of yourself. The first step of this project is first to think about if you could go any to any country in the world, what country would you love to go to? We also want to think about what culture is and think about the different parts of the culture from the country that you would like to visit. I've always wanted to go to Italy. So I wrote down on my country sheet that I want to study Italian culture. We need to know the colors of the flag, so we want to look up on our iPads or our computers all different things about the country you want to visit. The Italian flag is really easy to draw. It's actually complementary colors, which are red and green. I also looked up how to say hello and goodbye in Italian, which is ciao. And I found some other things about the country that I could draw on the bottom of my paper. So I drew pizza, the flag, olive oil, some pasta, pizza, and lots of other stuff. Now the second step, once you've drawn the symbols from your country, is to start drawing your portrait. To start your portrait, you're going to need another piece of white paper, and I printed you off some different steps that show you the parts of a face. We also have ovals that you can actually trace because the shape of your face is actually an oval. Once I'm finished drawing my eyes, nose, mouth, hair, and any other details with pencil, then I'm going to trace over my lines with a Sharpie so that they show up a lot better. I'm also going to use an eraser and erase all the pencil lines that I don't want to see. Once I've done that, then I can use crayons to color my skin to have a skin color. I can use colored pencils for my eyes and markers for my hair. Once everything is colored in and I've been neat and complete, then I'm ready to actually cut out my portrait. Once all your symbols are cut out, then you're going to do the really cool part, which is to cut off your head. Not really, but we want to cut open the top of our head so that we can show the symbols that we're thinking about that are inside of our head. So we're going to use scissors, and it doesn't have to be a straight line, but you want to make sure that you cut it off neatly, and then you're going to get glue and glue down all of your pieces onto your background color paper. Well, I hope you had fun learning all about how to draw a self-portrait, how to learn about other cultures and countries, and how to make an awesome creative collage. I hope you learned a lot, and all I have to say now is ciao!